Executives Pro and in today's video we are going to see how to add a contact form to your Google site and also get email notifications. So before getting into the video, if you guys haven't yet subscribed to the PC Tips Pro, please do subscribe. And now let's get into the video. Here we go with our Google sites. So here firstly we do have our site which we are working on which we are we, where we want to add our contact form to. So here firstly in order to add the Google forms you need you need to go to the insert option and if you just scroll down you can see many options are there. You can add many more things like you can add table of contents, buttons, dividers and many more things. So for adding your Google forms you need to firstly go to the Google forms and you need to create one for your site. So let's go to the Google forms. So here is my Google forms. So here we can create our form uh, as we are discussing about the contact information like contact form. We'll go with this contact information one. Click on it. And here you go with this. So it do have some basic things like the name form description email address phone number comments you can even add more uh, fields or else you can remove the fields you can edit the fields so let's say my form description is uh, this is my feedback form let's say so please provide your feedback so this is my description let's say and name uh, so name is the thing that is very general so I want to keep it as name and this questions answer should be a short answer text so I chosen uh, like it was a default uh, default settings so then email so email is also a mandatory field so you can just uh, check this like you can set it to required or you can set it to optional so for me email and name are required and address is not so required so let me say uh, let me delete this so let's see how can you delete this here you can see the delete button click on this so that you can delete it and then phone number phone number is also a short text answer and here in the comments i would edit this to feedback this way and then if you want to add a new field you can just click on this add question in this way you can create a new field and now let's say I want to ask the person's gender or let's say age group so age group so this is my question and my answer can be many things like I can give it to be short answer paragraph and multiple choice check boxes drop down and file upload in the case of resume or any file uploads and also it can be multiple choice grid checkbox grid linear scale so the relevant one to me, uh, for my question is multiple choice so I'll just click on this my option one will be uh, 1 to 0 to 18 and then my option 2 will be so my option 2 will be 19 to 25 and my option 3 will be 25 and above. So these are my options. So in this way you can um, specify those options and then I want it to be my required field and then you can even add one more one more field so in this way you can add as many fields as possible as many fields as required and then you can even use this images and also you can even add the videos and also you can add the section like separate sections and also you can give some title and description to your questions so for the contact form it is not much necessary to uh, use this all and also you do have one more option here to import your questions from other source so in this way you can edit or add and delete uh, the sections in the google forms and after you're all done with this you're done with this form editing you can get back to the google sites and here in the insert uh, you can just find this forms option click on the forms and here the form that you have created will appear so here you go 
and so the thing is we have created the form and the google site from the same google account so it is automatically synced so here you can find your contact information form click on it and click on insert so that this will be inserted on your page on your page so here you can see the form it looks like this so here are the things that we have added and then you can even adjust this form uh, so let's go here let's move it so you can uh, make it to the center of the page and also you can even expand this you can make, even resize this form from the default view you can do it looks something good now you can do like this so here is how your contact form looks on your page so once you have added the contact form you can just click on the publish to save this changes and uh, let's say after saving the changes a person uh, fills this form so where do you get this responses where you can see your responses so go back to the uh, google forms and here in the responses section you can see responses uh, like uh, whatever the person gives uh, answers to this uh, fields you can see them here so as as far as now there are no responses so you can see zero responses and now let's say you have your contact form on your site and you want to get notified whenever a visitor or a person fills your google form how can you do this you can do this uh, by just going to this google forms and here you can find in the top right you can see those three dots so click on it and here you can go to add-ons and click on the add-ons and after you click it you will be taken to this and then uh, search for email notifications so instead of checking every time you can use this email notifications to get the email uh, once uh, the person fills your google form so click on this and in order to enable this you need to install this add-on so click on install you know and then click on continue so once you confirm this with your google account it will be automatically installed and then after that when you are done here when you come back to the contact information form here you can see a new icon that uh, shows that our add-on has been successfully installed so click on this add-on and click on email notifications for google forms this is the one which we have created uh, which we have installed and click on create email notification and then here you can see one box uh, where you can create your rule so let's see how it works now and here you just need to give a new uh, rule name uh, let me say contact form contact information or contact okay let's say contact information and then uh, you can uh, choose the email address to notify and the sender email address and also the sender's name you can change it from uh, google forms to anything so let's say um, that's some business so i would like to say passionate and then you can uh, scroll down and if you want to reply to your uh, uh, respondents uh, you can just go here and notify form submitter so when the uh, form has been submitted by a person so they'll be uh, notifying with an email so you can just uh, choose the email question you can choose anything uh, email so email question will be email one so then uh, email field is named in my form as an email so i'll choose this and then after you're all done just scroll down and click on save rule in order to save this so in this way you can uh, make a rule uh, for getting your notifications to your email account uh, when the person fills your google form from your google site or else like from the link or anything and also in this way uh, using this insert you can add this contact information to your google site so whenever the person or visitor fills this form you will be automatically notified via email 
so this is all for this video guys i hope you found this video useful to you and don't forget to like share and subscribe to the pc tips group thank you for watching guys